Hello, I wanted to show you how easy it is to use Google Sheets to create bar graphs and pie charts. Um, in statistics, there's going to be a lot of times where you're analyzing data and you have to create a picture to do so. And as we go through the course, I will show you how to create these different graphs using Google Sheets. So right now we're looking at categorical data and I'm just going to make up something here. Maybe we'll say color. Oops, I can type. And we'll say red, orange, blue, and yellow. Maybe these are colors of candy in a jar. And I count them, and there are 24 red, there are 15 orange, there are only 8 blue, and there are 34 yellow. So once you have your data, you can type this in just as it would look in a table. Um, I kind of played around with this. I noticed that if I put color up here, and if I put maybe count or frequency on this side, now this is a very user-friendly program. I'm going to insert a chart. And the very first chart that pops up is a bar graph. So if that is something that you were trying to do, um, now, I don't really like frequency versus color. Um, I might want to change the title of that, and we'll look into changing the title of that in just a moment. But look what it did. It said color, red, orange, blue, yellow. It created the bars for me, and this is now going to be something that I can either copy and paste into the lesson, or you can always use this link to um, share this Google Doc with me, and so, as long as you're using your school email, I'll be able to access this and see your pictures here. So I'd like you to use the technology to create these graphs because it's an important thing to know how to do. Now, if you would like to um, customize anything here, you can customize the chart and access titles. So maybe instead of frequency versus color, I'm gonna say um, distribution, or I'm just gonna say, colors of candy in the jar. So you can change your title, you can change the axes as you need to. Whenever you do a graph, make sure it does have a nice title. Make sure that everything on it is clear and easy to understand. I'm gonna go back to setup. This was for a bar graph. We also learned about doing pie charts here. Pie charts by hand are very difficult to do because they um, require you to use a protractor and figure out the actual degree of the angle needed versus the percent of the item. In this case, if you click on that, you have your pie chart. This will label the categories. It will tell you the percentages. Now notice, why do you think these numbers, this is 29.6 for red, but over here I have 24. Orange, 18.5, 15. Why do you think these numbers are different? Remember that a pie chart is percent out of 100. These always add up to 100%. It's percent of a whole. And so what they did was they got the total here of, what would that be, um, 39, 47, 81. And they found the relative frequency. Remember how to do relative frequency. You would do the number over the total. So if I did 24 divided by 81, I should get that 29.6%. So these are the relative frequency. So as you're working through this course, there's a lot of math that needs to be done. If you don't have a calculator, that's fine because almost everything that we need to do can be done in Google Sheets and you do have Google Sheets access through your school account. If you have any questions, please let me know.